Hello, and my name is Jasmine Horn. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mic check, mic check. Uh, I am Jasmine Horn, originally from Dallas, Texas, by way of New York. Um, I am here in Germany, um, going to be able to perform with the WDB, WDR Big Band Orchestra. And I'm a singer, yes. <laughs> I came up with the title A Social Call because I wanted to bring social awareness to my audience, to my viewers, to my listeners. Um, there is a lot of social injustice that is happening in America right now, but really all over the world. Um, and so one of the things that I wanted to do was bring about those social things inside of the music. So some of the songs um, to have poetry that talks about a lot of things like genetically modified foods. And so I, I use my platform to bring those things about. But it is not just the negative things. There are a lot of social things that are great that are happening with amongst the people in America and amongst people all over the world. So it's both the yin and the yang. There are so many things that can be spoken about, can be talked about, can be brought um, to the forefront of music. A lot of artists choose not to speak out about certain things in music. So in America, there's a line entitled the Mason-Dixon line, which separates the North from the South. Um, the North, which is also the East Coast and part of the West Coast, there, um, after the Emancipation Proclamation, where black people were prisoners of war, also known as slaves, especially in the South, were being beat down and had to pick cotton and had to work hard labor for no money at all. Those people, a lot of those people migrated and moved up to the North and the East Coast, places like New York, which is where I live now. But I'm originally from the South, and I am specifically from Texas. Texas was the last state to be annexed, which means that was the last place where black people were lynched. So my ancestors come from those places. And when I was growing up, I was taught to always respect my ancestors, but also to always respect the music. So for me, it is not a joke. Sometimes you might have fun playing songs and then they may be fun. Starting from this incidental, I love mental, simple social call, right? That's fun and exciting. But the reverence that I have is know the melody, know the lyrics, know the story. Where, where does the story come from? How can I convey my story and my message across to the audience? So for me, I started taking on a reverence as a child. I was three years old when I started singing. And my parents and grandparents are evangelists and pastors of a church back home. And they always said to me, you have to sing and believe and also know what you're singing about and who you're singing to because there might be someone in your audience who really needs to feel love or feel that light and experience that. So don't ever not give them everything. Give them everything every time, even if you're in a rehearsal. Um, and I try to do that. I, I try to do that. Um, every opportunity that, that I get, because I also understand that my body and my song is only a vessel from something greater than all of us on this planet, and I have reverence to that. People, because of their experiences, feel music differently. When I come to Germany, there is you know, Berlin has its own vibe, and, Ger and Cologne has its own, its own vibe, its own energy, and each group of people feel music differently you know like if i'm if the tempo is here i might feel da -ga -da, da -ga -da, da -ga -da, da -ga -da. someone might else someone else might feel da -ga -da, da -ga -da, da -ga -da, da -ga -da. so the way that we all feel swing is very different um and so that's always interesting every time i go to a different country and play with different musicians i'm always excited to feel and experience how each person differently you know, feels the swing differently. And that's, that can be a challenge. <laughs> you know, if I'm feeling something one way and someone else, so I kind of have to figure out because WDR already has their sound and they already have their own vibration. So as an artist and as a singer, you know, I'm in front of the band. I kind of have to fit in and kind of go in between the cracks and like, where do I fit in? And how does my sound embrace the sound that is already here? How can I, take it and uplift it and move it higher? You know, how can I fit in instead of changing it completely and making it something else? You know, my body is not like a baritone saxophone or a piano. You close it and then you can go away and drink alcohol and smoke and whatever else you want to do. I actually have to take care of my whole entire body. So it's not just my voice. 